Like in Vegas, what happens in a black hole stays in a black hole. The matter which is falling in has no way of escaping once it passes the point of no return. This point is called the event horizon. It is a spherical boundary hiding the inside of the black hole. As matter moves towards it, it moves faster and faster. It's like a river flowing towards a waterfall. Upstream, the river is gentle and you can easily swim against the current. But close to the waterfall, the current is strong and however much you try, you just can't outswim it. You go over the edge. The event horizon is the boundary of the black hole where light and matter can't outswim the force of gravity. It is the point at which the river current is equal to the speed of light. But what's beyond this point, this edge which cuts the inside of the black hole off from the rest of the universe? Where is everything going? No one really knows. The equations which explain the universe break down inside a black hole. They call the dark mysterious centre of a black hole the singularity. It is a point at which our present understanding of nature unwinds. Time stops and nothing makes sense anymore. The singularity takes up an infinitely small space, but its mass is infinitely huge. It is a point where the physics of the really small, like atoms and subatomic particles, meets the physics of the really big, like the Earth and the Sun. The physics which explains the world on the really small scale is called quantum mechanics. It looks at the universe on a microscopic scale. The physics which explains the world on the grand scale is called general relativity, explaining space and time. But when they meet at a black hole, their equations don't match. Their answers are incompatible. And so what's happening at the singularity remains a baffling mystery scientists are waiting to uncover. But where do these mysterious entities even come from?